Alexa, you know, you say, hey, blah, 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 and uh, JB, who missed his flight, not he missed his flight, they, uh, it was a big hurricane, whatever, he get, it, nah, it's a long, complicated thing. Anyway, he's still here, so it'd be another day, I guess, before he leaves, and uh, so we spent a day listening to Alexa read him a book, because <laughs> it's a modern house, you know. In fact, I'm taking, I'm taking this as an opportunity, because he has all this stuff. You know, you know, big things, and he has um, Game of Thrones, he has like eight seasons, so I'm on season one, last distance season one, I'll go to season two, and um, I'm going to watch Game of Thrones, I guess, you know, it won't take that long, I suppose, uh, but then I'll get back to some other stuff. Anyway, uh, so, in fact, as a dog, as I took the dog out for a walk, I like taking dogs out and walk, but I have my headphones on, you know, as usual. I said headphones on because then I'd be listening rather than Alexa talk. I'd be listening to stuff that I got off the web and stuff like that, you know. So, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, let me check this. Ooh. I lost uh, my thing here. That this this thing's supposed to protect. This my talking modern stuff. I got to say this book. You're supposed to put your credit cards here and stuff like that because it protects you from whatever. So I went and bought some a couple of bottles of wine. And. uh uh, so when he's gone, you know, I'll have some wine in the house, you know, because I don't drink that much. I drink like a little bit in there. Anyway, but my thing fell apart, you know. Oh, back together again. I, I got to get a new one of these, whatever that is, protective credit card. Um, uh, oh, yeah, smoothie this morning. So after I took the dog out for a walk, made a smoothie, right? And this was a simple one, though. I didn't put a lot of stuff in it. Um, I got some mango chunks, you know, got some, oh, I got my... I got a little bit of the rest of the um, black cherry juice, right? What else did I put in? Um, um, a clarinet bar. I'm sorry. Banana. Banana is always good for a smoothie. There's some other stuff in there. Um, something I put in there. I forget where. So this is really nice. Mm. But you know what? I was taking on the door for walk. I had headphones on. I was listening to this whole thing about Dorothy Kilgallen. Now, here's the thing. Let me meander around just a little bit. You know, as you know, they're trying to, well, they got Tulsi Gabbard out. She's not in the next debate, the next couple of debates, because, you know, shenanigans of the DNC. And I keep on telling you, both with the DNC as well as in the black, the black community, we were in the state of uh, Chimaranga. Chimaranga meaning, was Chimaranga means revolutionary struggle. But another meaning of Chimaranga, Chimaranga is the struggle within, you know. Uh, so we have a struggle within, you know, both these movements. And I insist the DNC must be crushed. That's one thing. As far as um, black people are concerned, no, we're not black people, not going to be crushed. But as far as the ADOS movement is, we've got to lay people, they got to do some, adjust some things. Because remember, ADOS is a political movement, okay? Forget this other stuff, this other social movement. It's just a political movement, you know? So that's that's what we're doing. Just like DNC is a political movement. So we have these things happening at the same time. I'm not going to go into the finance but And all over the world, there's upheaval. But there's certain there's political movements, there's social movements, there's all kinds of movements, you know? It's happening like I was listening to Zoe Williams the other day. And uh, there was a sister that came on, I heard her, and she really insulted this panel of black guys. So anyway, but she came on again, and Zoe gave her a, a lot of time. He's very patient. He's a good teacher. And uh, and she was just like this sister. When I told you that sister was on that train, when I took the train here to St. Louis, there was a, there was like, for lack of a better term, there was a, a redneck. She was there, me, and then this other uh, young lady who, who was a, a gymnast, but she wasn't involved in this conversation. But the sister is acting like this sister, which is you give, give no space. She's there for, to just to be, be almost like a preacher, a polemiker. She's a polemiker and wouldn't listen, wouldn't engage in any conversation and not respect any kind of anything. So, so I'm saying, wow, this must be a whole generation of sisters like this, you know, they get a little bit of knowledge and they try to go with that as, as they're on a pulpit. They don't know how to research other knowledge. And like I said, there's, you might, they might be spousing the, the popular thing, the popular definition, the popular thing, but there's something under that and there's something under that. I'm with something under that and the research and, and going to what's called a radical the root, which is the bad root meaning radical. Anyway, so, so I won't get into all this stuff, but it was really amazing. But here's the thing, I was thinking about Tulsa Gabbard and all these people saying, you know, like somebody walked out of a, um, um, 
Bernie Sanders was being introduced, and these women that was for, well, not women, this group that's for Kamala Harris said, time for a woman in the White House, time for a woman in the White House. I said, what the heck? There's this glass breaking, glass ceilings, and stuff. So I'm going like, hey, first of all, let's deal with journalism. Let's go deal with journalism. If I'm black, I'm going to call like the first black journalist that I know that was like talking about whew, amazing was Ida B. Wells. Strangely enough, when, uh, when a long time ago, when my sister, my, my niece had to do a presentation in like a second grade class, I had her be for like black history, but I had to be Ida B. Wells, you know, so she had to research that and all that stuff. I don't know if you remember that. When I get back to Virginia, I have to ask her. Anyway, so that's the thing. But as far as women journalists, you know, you all talk about your Oprah's and your, and your Barbara Walters, your pioneers. How come nobody talks about Dorothy Kilgallen? This woman was amazing. Not only because she write, but she was a true journalist and an intellect. But they don't raise her up. That's my that's my point. And every who are you raising up as your as your examples? You know what I mean? Why isn't anybody raising up Dorothy Kilgallen? Even I, back in the day, I was watching on Watch My Line. You know what I mean? And anyway, that's what I'm trying to say. These women, people are misguided. They want to break the glass ceiling. With who? Who's you, who? Who are you dealing with? Well, you know, if Oprah is your standard, or, or Queen Bay is your, that's your standard? If, if you get between Queen Bay and, 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 and Nina, some, the High Priestess of Soul, who am I going to go with? You understand? Even, even the Queen of Soul versus the High Priestess of Soul, who am I going to go with? You see? I mean, yeah, but, 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 but he has this thing, uh, he's, he's got this thing for Diana Ross, you know? I'm with Valerie Simpson. Uh, <laughs> you know? Who, now you may know Donna Ross from da 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 da. For me, Valerie Simpson is more important. I just saw something on TV and I realized one of the songs, Valerie Simpson, California Dream, or something like that, done by someone. Valerie Simpson writing, what, 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 Nick Stafford, writing all these songs. Who is the more important person? You know, who broke you? You see what I'm saying? Anyway, I just thought I ran on about that. Maybe because it's a good, oh, I, I got real figs in this too. I did that one, figs. I think that's what makes it so good. I like the, I love figs, real figs. So anyway, I'm getting you all this because you know this whole thing is about first and breaking this and people not listening to it. Though, it's starting to bug me. I mean, it really is because I'm going like, don't people know in this day and age when you can research stuff? Don't be lazy. Come on, don't be any any vagina will do, any black person will do. No, you know any any first or second thought that I have will do. Listen and go deeper. If somebody gives you some another book to read, then try to check out at least the, you know, the preface of the book. I was say that. You, you see what I'm saying? Okay. That's what I'm saying. That would be me. T from the Patterson State of the Trenches. Better letting you know what I really suspect. So, a death. Well, a death of the reality clan. Okay. Of ADOs. ADOs, that would be the American descendant of chattel slavery. Or the North American descendants of chattel slavery.